apparently, Dune 3, Dune Messiah, is going to be Denis Villeneuve's last foray into the Dune universe. Now, why am I unqualified to talk to you about this? Well, as some of you know, the Dune movies don't really fire on all cylinders for me. The Dune movie, I should say. Nor have I read the novel, so I am not the right fan to talk to about this, really. So go on and just talk uh, about how you feel about Dune. Then, I learned, I today. was I was today years old when I learned there would be a third film. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I understand, too, that there are many other books that were made in the Dune series and everything. So there's obviously other content out there. But I didn't know much about this. So, y'all, I, I know you guys enjoyed Dune far more than me. I just defer to you on this. How are you feeling about Denise stepping away from this? Do you think three movies is enough to get through some of I think, this content? I think so. I mean, I'm excited. I, I just went back to the Chinese theater and saw the oh, reissue. The yeah. Nice. Um, I, I mean, I know what you're saying. Like, you get, like, the pacing and all that feels slow. But to me, it's, like, the whole vibe. It's the, sure. the music, the sound effects, the cinematography, all of that. And then, you know, there is a lot of, like, there's a lot of setup in the first movie. Mm -hmm. And I think the second movie, you're probably going to end up, if you just decide to go see it. Oh, I am. Uh, I think you're going to like it a lot more because it's more action. That's what everyone keeps telling Way me. more action because yeah. part one was all the setup. Exactly. So I think when you come off of part two, you might be excited about this. Mm -hmm. But I also think that this should be where he stops. I think three is 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 a good amount for a director to focus on. And then let someone else <laughs> take it on. And also then we get different content from Denny and I love his storytelling. So I want to see more yeah. than just Dune from him. For sure. I, I just I like Chris. I, I didn't know there was a Dune three oh, planned. Yeah. It's it's gonna I happen. thought it was Dune two and then we out. Well, yeah. It's kinda like it, it these two kind of like basically complete the book. So Yes. Okay, no spoilers, but spoilers. Does Timothy Chalamet's character move move on to this third dune is it yeah, something that that goes, character will is continue. that is that is this hey, a, it's a popcorn bucket okay well yeah um well plus <laughs> once what what look once you have this beauty here I why mean, wouldn't you look for any opportunity this to is why it? i'm going to see so the sequel. this 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 screams messiah oh man i mean it certainly makes one say jesus christ oh wow <laughs> well yes they better butter up that rim when i grab my popcorn <laughs> No, the rim on the popcorn bucket. Just so it feels like, you know, authentic. Oh, oh I followed you every step of the way, right? <laughs> authentic. <laughs> From what it might be the experience of doing something, getting what? eating popcorn. What? Anyways, okay, here, here's the deal. Okay. If I don't care about Timothy Chalamet's character, what's his name? Paul Atreides. Uh -huh. Paul Atreides. After this second movie, I'm not walking to this third movie. Okay, well, look. One of the things I was going to say is... Because I'm at the verge of caring about it, but this second movie better get oh. me to be like, I want to know where this guy's going. You're going to know I that. I want to follow this guy. No, you. Uh, so when I went and saw the reissue, they showed us uh, one scene where he finally rides a sandworm. But you can tell just on the, the characters around that scene that, yeah, it you're going to be heavily invested in Paul and, and his growth. So, yeah. Because this Paul it. character to me so far has seemed so alien to a human like his emotions seem so alien to uh Ooh. however yeah 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 from what i've seen it's like he hears these whispers right in his head yeah. from the yeah. first film it's like i i don't know if he's an actual real person <laughs> no he is he is but it's so like a, the chosen one kind of a thing you know what i mean yeah, yeah. i mean I, I guess that's not the point of the movie to get emotional uh, uh, of, over these characters it's mm -hmm. more about what the war and things like that the the war with each with each other and uh, protecting your land and things like that, right? Or yeah, your people? well, yeah. no, but there's a greater story for him. So when you say, like, I want to be invested in him, his story is going to get much larger. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Fume. Quitting cold turkey is great in theory, but you and I both know it's way more difficult than that. And that's why there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some fake online promises. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume. And they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavor air device that does just that. See, instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful 
chemicals, fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. I personally didn't know what to expect when I first got my fume. I mean, I've never liked vapes, but my goodness, the taste. The first time I tried it, I was completely sold on it. It was incredible. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use the code CAMPIA to save an additional 10% off your order today. What? So I will absolutely give this movie this. It does a really great job of doing that world building. You do feel very, very immersed in this world. You know the rules. You know the intricacies of this. Right. For me, that just moved a little slow. Yeah. And I say that as somebody who also constantly justifies getting through, you know, the Lord of the Rings books and Tolkien describing walking through grass for like 16 pages. So I completely get it. And I'm really excited to see where this picks up because I do want to know more. I yeah. want to know about, you know, Zendaya's character and mm -hmm. how she and Paul relate to one another because those trailers all they're that, in a relationship all of a sudden. All that rate relationship and all those like visions he was getting, yeah. that's the payoff too. So you're gonna get you're gonna get payoff with their internal, like their their growth as characters, yeah. relationships, and then the culmination of 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 fighting off the big bads. The sandworms joining, dude. You're gonna love it. I'm invested in the part because of the part of the trailer where I was like, okay, yeah. this, this, this is a, you, you, this is over. When he talks about his dad, because his dad is dead now, right? Or yeah, uh, supposedly. When he says that line, I'm like, hmm, this guy needs to get. You know, I want to see what a line like that does to a son that's hurt. Yeah. yeah, and then you're gonna get the payoff of the revenge. Yes, that's so, what I want from this. This is like. That's the only thing I could think about in this movie, the revenge he gets yeah. on that guy who said, who is it? Is it uh, Christopher Walken who says it? Oh, the Emperor? Show? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I still like him. that big guy, that the one that uh, died at the oh, end. Oh, the Skarsgård one? Skarsgård. Yeah. I just like, yeah. I like that character for some reason. Character it's design just, is It gnarly. just makes me laugh when he talks. <laughs> but it's also, there's a little creepiness, creepiness. right? Creepiness. Yeah. There's a little. It's such a deep, like, Gut or like mistrust you know? with this yeah. character like he says these things so confidently but do i believe him sure it's like you know it's like oh man I've i i feel like in, in, i saw it in imax and i'll see it again in imax if i see it a second time i'll i'll do the nicer chairs in the dolby but mm -hmm. the soundscape is almost unsettling in dune because it's yeah. so loud and just so like you know abrupt all the time that I and mean, even when the people are kind of like different aliens speak, you're like, whoa, that looks like a gravelly grumble, mm -mm. you know, like, I can't even describe it, like a rumble. It's it, it's know? a very weird primal, primordial, yeah. like, noise. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to just point out, someone in the chat said that, you know, the last Dune wasn't even profitable. Um, it was. It was. And I, I just, I want to say that because I was somebody who this didn't really work for me. I think I would have liked it if I got that two-parter double whammy, right, where yeah. it was a big, long thing. But I mean, they had a hundred and sixty-five million dollar budget and made four hundred two million. And you got to remember that they put this the same day in it, same day, date and date. Yeah, it's really unfair to say it wasn't even it wasn't even profitable. Okay, so don't make part two. All right. Well, yeah. To your point, it was released on streaming the same day. Yeah. And it was during it was twenty twenty one. Yeah. It so was the still majority pandemic. of people still were not even brave enough to go back in a movie theater yep. and it made four hundred million. Yeah. So you have when you make statements like that, you've got to put them in perspective. Exactly. I, I watched this at home. And Logan had a I watched this at home too. Yeah. I didn't Logan, watch it in theater. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. So you guys are like not so like I, I'm sitting here with my experience both times in IMAX. Yeah, yeah. With a massive screen and a sound system that's blasting you away. Yeah. And you guys are like, it was okay. I'm like you were worried about your neighbors. See this thing oh. in IMAX, the rumbling when he when when he Oop. when he starts surfing on on that worm and you mm -hmm. the power of these things going through the sand and the rumbling in the theater, you're gonna be like that could have really changed it. Doing. But like Logan loved it. Yeah. Also, granted, Logan likes a lot of things. He loved Obi Wan season one, but he was like, "Oh, you're entitled to your opinion, but it, but it is wrong about yeah. this movie. It is not no, boring because no, you'll still feel the pacing will still feel the same. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, at least you'd have like a sensory kind of yeah. like you like this is getting me through at least. You know for what I mean? Sure, for sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's well, a fair point. You know what? We're seeing it. Well, I, all I know, even if this movie isn't profitable, that popcorn bucket is going to be profitable. Can I just say, though, so many people are gonna this buy it. feels like 
most jokes aside, I feel like this thing's going to knock the popcorn out of my hands as I'm like, yeah, I'm like, come on, give me the. It name. depends popcorn. on what what kind of. Well, don't uh, say come on to it, Jonathan. Yeah, don't it do that. It depends on what kind of um, um, inner thing that you uh, choose because I think that's customizable, I believe. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're getting at here, but you know what? This picture here of Denny makes me feel like, and I know people are so sick of Star Wars at this point, but. I could see him doing a Star Wars I film. would love, actually, for him to do a Star Wars. Yeah. I think he would have such great vision. And one of the things we talk about with Star Wars all the time is, what if we kind of get outside of the typical story here? What if we do something interesting with yep. it and do a different genre that happens to be in a galaxy far, far put, away? He'd nail that. Put him in like a, something pre-Republic or early mm -hmm. Republic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? We're seeing, uh, we're seeing Dune 2 on February 25th. I You're believe. doing the nice. thing, and I'm seeing it on the 29th, four days yeah. later. So, yeah, so I will be in theaters for this one, unlike uh -huh. the first one. So we'll see. We'll see if there's the Ray, difference. your experience, not only with this part two and everything you're looking for, and the fact that you're seeing it in like IMAX or, or yeah, even if you see it in IMAX. It, dude, you're coming out of this movie like loving it. Okay. I almost guarantee it. Ooh. I can't always guarantee mm. with you, Hot but I feel like bet. you're really going to like Hot it. Hot toy mm. bet. <laughs> no, I can't. Dude, yeah. I am broke. We're not in that money. You, I canceled my streamers. Do you think I have money for a hot toy? <laughs> We're Funko you guys, Bet. Just Funko do it like bet. I do where I buy them used. If I. If I buy a hot toy, I better be saving up for a divorce lawyer because lawyer's like, you're out of here. That's fair. That's very, very fair. But I think we're all in agreement. Denis, we want to see him do some other things. Yeah. He's done some great stuff yeah. here, but we want to see more from him in different types of movies. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. These, uh, these, these movies lock him up for a long time. Uh -huh. It's time to get it, move on so, eventually. Hey, just so you know, and I'm not trying, you know, Calvin, it's a leap, it's a year, leap year. So there is a February 29th, and it's happening on that day. That only happens once every four years, but yes. there is a 29th. Oh, every this year? four years. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a leap year. Oh, cool, man. Yep. Cool. Anyway, just just letting you know. <laughs> so today we learned a lot. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.